In today's video, I'm walking you through my flagship template, the Notion Productive Brain 4.0. If you've been looking around YouTube for a solid second brain system inside of Notion that you can rely on that brings together your tasks, your notes, people, it even has a follow-up system and a session tracking system to track your tasks for how long you've been doing your tasks. It has goal tracking, it has habit tracking, it has book tracking if you wanna track the different books that you're reading and import your notes from something like like Readwise or GoodNotes. It even has an entire financial system all built into it so that every year you can track your PL and you can keep track of your finances. And this is by far the best financial system that I have been able to create. And I used to use Google Sheets for this, but I found an app that allows you to connect Notion to all of your bank accounts and import your transactions so that you can seamlessly bulk categorize your transactions and quickly get them where they need to be. This template has everything that you can imagine, and it's a true lifesaver in my personal life and my business life. And it also has an amazing centralized search feature that allows me to just search for something and find it anywhere that it might be. If you want access to this template and improvements in the future, then I suggest subscribing to our community where you can access this template, Productive Brain, which includes the CRM books and productive finances. And it also includes standalone CRM productive books and the bonus productive content to keep track of all of your content inside of Notion, whether it's on YouTube or X, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever it might be. And then I also have the Notion for Productivity course, which shows you the mindset behind creating Notion templates like the Productive Brain. And this is going to give you an idea of how you can actually make money with those templates by creating very similar ones to mine, but you can make them in your own style. And then we also have this mini course here, Notion for Beginners, if you want to take a spin around the beginners course. Now, I recommend checking out the community as well, where you can make posts in different categories. You can ask for help with Notion. You can ask questions about the template. You can really do anything that you want here. And we just have a bit of a community here that likes to have a chat every once in a while. So definitely post in here. All right, now let's get on to the showcase of this template so that you guys can see what it's all about. All right, so this is the fourth iteration, as I said, of the Productive Brain, and this is my homepage. I can rename it to Hey Carter if I wanted to, but I just had it named as the Productive Brain so you guys could see what this was called. Here in the upper left-hand corner, I have the Quick Capture Box, and this is inspired by GTD, the Getting Things Done system. And I like it because I can quickly hit Task and I can quickly add a new task. Let's say I need to walk the dog, I could quickly just add that as a task and it adds it to my tasks for today and automatically marks it as planned for today. If I wanted to plan it for a different day, I could change that and it would disappear. Let's add another task like film video and we're gonna keep that on today and I'm gonna punch in because that's what I'm working on right now. And as you can see, it starts a new session and it says exactly how long that session has been running for. So you can see exactly all of the different things that you've worked on and how long you've worked on them. To drill down even further, you can even change the due date of this. You can add a priority to it and you can add a related goal. So let's make the related goal for film video productive dude growth. Let's make that the goal. Okay, new. And now, as you can see, I have that new goal that populates down here, and it's also tracking the work for that particular goal. So now if I go in here and I punch out, as you can see, it's going to say complete one minute. And it's going to say that this task is now paused. Let's say I completed that task, I could hit complete, but I'm just going to open it up and I'm gonna punch back in. Now, another thing that you can do is if you have another task right here, if I say punch into this task, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to pause this other task. It's not doing it here because this isn't the production grade uh, version of this template, but I did fix it. So what it should do is pause that task actually. And at this point, you're now working on this new task. So you can seamlessly switch between them like that. And you can also mark things as complete to just pause them all together and remove them from your to-do list. So that's how tasks sort of work. Another cool thing you can do with tasks is you can go to the plan page and you can plan all of your tasks out just by dragging them around right here and adding new ones like so. Once tasks are complete, just like on the homepage, you can hit complete and they'll disappear. 
So if I go to process, this is another page that's inspired by GTD. And this has all of basically, it's basically my inbox for everything in my life. So all of my tasks are gonna show up here and it's gonna say exactly what I need to complete for this information. So it needs a due date so that it fits into my system properly. And now this one needs a title because it's tracking this as new task. So that means that it doesn't have a title. So let's just give it another title. Let's say water the plants. And now we have update planned date. Okay, so we have to update the planned date because this is in the past. We'll make that today. And this one needs a due date. So I can give it a due date in the future. This one's past due. I'll put the due date in the future. And now, as you can see, all of our tasks are filled out. There's no tasks left in here. Then I could scroll down to my notes, process those goals, process those and so on. Now, the other nice thing is I even have my finances in here. So it brings in all of my incoming transactions, all of my outgoing transactions, the categories that I've created for those transactions. It also brings up accounts if I have any accounts that need any information or institutions. So if I have institutions that I'm connecting from third parties, then it will show them here. I show you guys how to connect up finances on the Productive Brain installation page if you guys do decide to purchase this template. But the process page is a pillar and I use this every single day along with the plan page just to stay on top of things. You can go to the finances routine if you wanna get a better look at your overview of your finances. So here it shows me my accounts and down here it shows me my total liquidity across all of my accounts. Down here, if I go to a certain month, it's going to show me my PNL for that month. So my profit and loss. So if I go to the profit and loss, you'll see that I have a negative $828 month in May. And that's because I've just only classified my expenses so far. So once I start classifying my income, I should be able to get this number up a little bit. You can do this by quarter. I don't have a ton of information in here. I only have those expenses classified. So uh, it's not going to show a ton of stuff, but you can do it annually. You can do it by quarter or you can do it monthly. Now finances are great, but if you have to fill your bank account up, then you're going to need some sales skills. And that's where the CRM comes in. So we also have a CRM in this system. So if I add people here, I could add a person. Let's just say Carter Sirach. I could add an email, phone, role, interval. I could add all of that stuff. But the beauty of this is if I close this, it's all going to show up in process. So how many times have you had that where you're working with somebody, you're talking with somebody at a networking event, and you just make that connection right, but you just don't have time to write down everything right then and there. So what you can do is you can quickly open up your phone, So if you wanna access this template, my community and my courses, then you can click the link below this video and join our community for a small monthly fee. I look forward to seeing you inside and I hope that you guys enjoyed this demo of the Productive Brain 4.0. I've been spending years working on this template and this is just the fourth rendition, but I'm sure that there will be more to come. So definitely join our community, be a part of it. I look forward to seeing you guys in the action.